Ben from RMB Reptiles here. We got another great video for you. We're gonna break down the feeding costs that we do every week and uh, also, you know, get into a couple of the cool genes we got going on here and uh, maybe do some other weird things. So stay tuned. Hey everybody out there. Uh, we're doing some cleaning in the room and Ryan gave me our last pair of green gloves. We were switching over to a pink pair and the glove that I put on ripped. So I decided to uh, <laughs> try to turn it into something else. So I put a pink glove underneath. Looks pretty cool, right? Right? I think that we should make gloves like this. I think it's a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> Back to cleaning. So it's feeding day here at RMB Reptiles and uh, we feed roughly once a week, sometimes every two weeks depending on what's going on and depending on who needs to eat and how many, you know, if somebody, somebody skipped a meal, things like that. So we keep track of all of that. And uh, so comment down below, let us know how often you feed and what do you guys do with your food. We wanted to just show you a little bit of an idea of what we do and um, explain where are you going? <laughs> Sean the rats. So uh, just want to explain to you, like when you guys are getting into breeding snakes, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot that's involved when it comes to uh, feeding because you want to make sure that you guys are giving your your animals the best food that they can get, as well as feeding them as often as they should, or um, or they could. So. We like to do every week if we can, because not everybody eats every week, um, and so we don't want to do every other because then it could possibly be a month before someone gets a you know a feeding. So we try to do every week, and uh, we also we buy appropriate size food. Sometimes we try to get them a little bit smaller for certain animals depending on what they are. Um, if something's not eating, one of the tips is to go with a little bit smaller uh, food than what they normally get and see if they'll eat then. So we also wanted to break down a bit of our costs of what it takes to feed our collection. Uh, significantly went up over the last year or two and um, you know that's just part of the deal. So we want you guys to understand what goes into it. So we just want to give you guys some totals of some ideas of what it costs and we go through with what we currently have and we didn't ha we only have three eggs in the incubator right now or four depending on if that one uh, you know, makes it through or not for right now. But we have, Ryan, how many females we have breeding right now? Um, we have approximately 40 females. 40 females, all of them are breeding right now or close? All of, that doesn't include our sub adults that are on the border. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's 40 to 50. 40 to 50 females this year that could possibly lay eggs. And, you know, roughly six eggs, if we're going to call it. On average per female, I'll put the math up over here. Boop. This is how many babies we could probably have. So you want to make sure that you have the housing for that, and which we need to get a little bit more probably. I think right now we can house about 85 babies, maybe more, and um, we need to make sure that we can up that, you know, this year. So uh, we are definitely breeding more snakes this year than we did in the past, and we got to feed all them. So when they're young, more skinks than ever, and we need to, we have, you know, a lot of skinks for breeding as well, but we're just talking about pythons at the moment. Um, and I guess rhino and Asian rat snakes, cause they also eat, uh, rodents. So we go through about 60 pups a week, uh, rat pups a week. And that's just what we have on hand right now. Um, so once we start having more babies, it's going to be a lot more. So this is a rat pup. That we do um, this is about a 35 gram rat pup and uh, they you know you can find them sometimes between a dollar and a dollar fifty um, if you're buying in bulk if you're buying from somewhere else it could go up to even two dollars um, we've seen for a rat pup so you gotta you know shop around a little bit but also realize that that's how much it's gonna cost so we pay about 75 bucks you know, seventy-five to a hundred dollars a week just in rat pups currently, and um, we get weaned as well. So I'll show you what a wean looks like. 
This is a weaned rat. It's when they can just start eating on their own. This one's a little bit bigger than a pup, but a little bit smaller than a small. It's the in-between. Um, if your rat breeder will breed, will sell you uh, weaned rats, you know, that's what you can get. We like rats better than mice in general. Um, they tend to be a little bit more fatty when they're pups than what a, a small mouse would be. And uh, we like to switch over all of our ball pythons to rats anyway. So we just start off with a rat and the size we get for a rat for a baby, you have to be careful because some of them can be a little bit bigger than others. Um, but you want them when they just are starting to get hair, just about getting fuzz and their eyes are just about to open. So they're about 25, 30 grams. Um, this one's probably in the 30 gram range. So, and a, a baby ball python will eat this, uh, but you gotta be careful with, you know, how big the, the stomach is. You don't want the stomach or the, the longer part of the snake to stretch too much once this is in. Uh, so that's what you gotta kind of gauge it on. So with the weaned, depends, it, you know, if we can get a weaned, we will. If not, we'll feed two pups. So you'll feed one pup, let the snake eat and, and uh, sit for a few minutes and then feed another pup. And if they eat a second one, then that's good. That's two meals in them. And um, you know, that's just as good as a weaned. Then we get into our smalls. We go through about 50 or 60 smalls a week, depending. Um, some of our snakes just started moving up to mediums. We have snakes that will definitely eat mediums, but it's hard if they refuse, then what do we do with them? So we have to make sure that we have a certain amount of mediums. Um, and if you don't do a medium for a snake, you can do two smalls and that works just the same. So smalls can be, you know, a dollar fifty maybe if you're really lucky, all the way up to like two dollars and fifty cents. So uh, yeah, we've been getting about between 40 and 65 smalls a week currently. And I'm going to put up all the math on this in a little bit. Now we're switching over to some mediums, the bigger size food. And I can show you a small actually. Let's see here, one of these guys. So this is a small, you can tell it's bigger than a weaned. And these guys will be, you know, obviously able to live on their own no problem. And uh, they're a bit chunkier. And a sub-adult rat, I mean a rat, sub-adult snake will easily eat one of these smalls. And then mediums. So these guys are mediums. They're right in between a me uh, medium and a large. We don't have any larges. Maybe these, so this is a, this one's a bit small of a medium, but it's close. Um, they're, this is just a little bit bigger than a large. And then this guy's probably more medium right on the cusp. And again, it's hard sometimes to know, you know, for the, your breeders sometimes for them to get, you know, the exact size, cause they're all going to be growing up together, but they might grow up slightly differently. Um, so that's about a medium, I would say definitely. And then a large, we have a couple mediums that are on the big side like this girl here is definitely really chunky for a, a medium. So we would say it's probably a large. Oh, that girl has testicles. Oh, that's a boy, sorry. <laughs> um, so this boy is uh, right on the cusp of a large to a medium. So this is a big, a big medium or a small large. So they, they range in those sizes. We are going through about 30 mediums a week currently in that range. So 30 mediums, 60 smalls, 60 pups, let's just say, and uh, we'll do the math of that right here. And you can see how much it really costs to feed the collection every week. And so you got to build that in when you're, when you're starting a business or if you're just doing this for fun, you got to build in these costs. Um, if you fed every other week, that's fine. I just realized that if somebody misses a meal, that it'll be the fourth week that then they'll be able to eat again. Um, it's not terrible. And uh, every other week is fine with the right size. And if you have something that eats a, a pretty large meal for what it, for what the snake size is, you know, skipping a week is probably more healthy for them even. Um, so it's, it's there's a lot of ebb and flow with uh, 
keeping and feeding your own rats and things like that. But during breeding season, you feed your females heavy if you want production because... Yeah, so when they're breeding, um, if the snake, if the female's eating, you should be feeding because they're building and they're building weight and they're building follicles and you want them to be, you know, ready to go. A lot of the, the pro people out there, and not that we're pro or anything like that, but they'll say from the time a snake lays eggs uh, to the time that it's ready to start breeding again, it should have about 20 meals in it, a good size, right size meals in it. Um, so if you're feeding every other or every week, you know, 20 weeks is really not enough time for them to get back together for it, but they'll be, they'll be probably the right weight for it. Um, we like to go at least 90 days, maybe 120 days, depending on the snake, um, before we start to even introduce again. So you just want to start keeping that stuff in mind when you are feeding and things like that. So you want to make sure that you're offering your females, especially when you're breeding, the right size food and often enough. So this is just our tips and now we're going to go and start, you know, feeding our collection because it's feeding day. So uh, let's get to that. It's a mail in today, so we're just gonna check it out. This one looks like it's from overseas. So, uh, look at this fancy little katana knife I have here. I'm gonna do one of these. What we got here Fab Tiles. Fab Tiles. I've been seeing you all over Instagram, man. You are doing some stuff. Look at this. Thanks for the support and the stickers. It's really appreciate it. Right on, from Germany. Nice. And one other. Let's see what we got here. We got a we got a batch of new stickers now, didn't we, Ben? We did. Limited editions. I suppose. I really should buy some more even. Stickers are so expensive. <laughs> you spent a lot of money on stickers. What do you got here? Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for inviting me into your reptile family. Can't wait for the next dinner. Earn. This is our buddy Ernesto. Earn's exotic. So look at that. It's the, yeah, perfect actually. Awesome. He comes to our reptile dinner that we have uh, quarterly which I guess that's a good segue into saying reptile dinner coming up on uh, April 11th, April 11th and the 25th, uh, April 11th is going to be South Jersey. So we're going to do that at mission barbecue like we usually do in Deptford. And then on the 25th is going to be the reptile dinner North. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing that at Harold's, right? Harold's deli in Harold's deli, Edison, New Jersey, home of the sky high meat mile. pie. Right. I don't know. Really big food. It's ridiculous, actually. If you know anything about Harold's, everything is you buy one meal and it's enough for 12. It's really weird. But uh, yeah, cool. So thank you for the stickers. Please come out to our reptile dinner. It's a really fun time. A bunch of people get together. We eat. We hang out for a couple hours, talk shop. So everybody's invited and we'll see you there, hopefully. So when you're doing skink breeding, uh, they go into brumation and during brumation they don't eat and then when they come out you want them to eat but sometimes they can be a little picky until they get done breeding or sometimes you know so we like to try to give them treats as well to see if they'll eat and uh, so we're gonna try some quail eggs I got some uh, quail eggs and uh, we've never done quail eggs so I don't know if we're gonna crack them or try them or whatever but uh, we'll try them in this little dish see if this young lady will eat a quail egg Hey, think about this, huh? Ooh. It's probably not. <laughs> we should probably do something. Think about that. Think about that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Look at that, Ryan. Now the the shell is really good for them for calcium. And um, <clears throat> this is really good. She's breeding for us. It's a male. This is a male. He's breeding for us. <laughs> Ryan's always checking me on that. It's awesome. So this is good. Maybe we'll just put them in the regular dishes instead of doing this white dish. But this is just a paper dish. We thought it might be a good idea. So this is good, healthy stuff for them to get some... Uh, Good protein and calcium. That worked out much better than I thought it would, Ryan. Well, why don't we try some of the other ones? Okay. This one ate all of its food. <clears throat> yeah, take that. Oh yeah. Try to keep it in your dish. Ryan made fun of me for saying we should use quail eggs. So cool, so cool. This one ate all of its food, too. It's great. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this video. Uh, hope you guys got some good information on the rats and what it really takes to run, you know, the feeding side of some of the animals at least. Not all of our animals eat that. We also have other stuff. But uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. We really, really definitely appreciate all the mail and support you guys are sending us. And uh, whether it be on Instagram, Facebook, uh, texting me, <laughs> or anything like that, um, we really appreciate it. We hope that you guys join us for our reptile dinners, which are in April. We're trying to give people a little bit more heads up time. So April 11th is r and Reptiles Dinner South in Deford, New Jersey. And uh, April 25th is r and Reptiles Dinner North, which is in Edison, New Jersey. Um, we'll put the description or the link in the description below or at least the description of that We won't have really links to it, but um, Also the links of all the stuff that we showed today uh, The mail and whatever be in the description below We really appreciate everything you guys are doing. Thank you for our patreon and our bias of coffee people Tyler Levin. He's not my brother um, Just kidding. He is my brother, but he keeps buying coffee for us. I don't know why <laughs> But thank you so much for that and uh, yeah Let's uh, see you guys in Tinley in just a couple weeks. Uh, we'll be there soon. Tinley March, we'll be there. Thanks. Other weird things. So stay tuned. Hey Ben, is it going to be a great video? This is going to be a great video. We got another great video for you this week. Uh, is it, do you want me to say it? You want me to start it over? <laughs> Should I pick my nose with these gloves? I didn't touch Ooh. anything yet. That's why they're green. Mm -hmm. They don't really stay on. Right. 11th and 25th. You checked? That's what you just sent to me. Yeah. Yes, 11th and 25th. Right. I'm on. We're hot. We're hot. Hello? We're hot. Okay. <clears throat> Hashtag, we're hot. Uh, All right. All right. There it is. Okay. Dog, we got a video with Lionel coming up. You know he's like super fit. We gotta get into it. I wanna have a little lift off competition with him. Uh, see if these guns. Just kidding. Alright. <clears throat> um, okay. <clears throat>